With all the birds I have, when there is one that is in desperate need of rescue, I will take it. Well, I was thinking the way they described the birds that it was what's called a blue and gold macaw. But I found out it was a very special bird. And making her debut here today, I wanted to wait till I came to the Devonshire to introduce our newest rescue. This is Becca. Becca is called a hyacinth macaw. These are the largest parrots of all the species of parrot. And she's not a rainforest bird. She is from the what's called the Pantanal region of Brazil. It's more of a dry grassland region. And over the years, I've done research when it comes to the different species of birds. This is the largest macaw or the largest parrot in the world. And you know, there are only three places in all of the United States where you can see the largest and smallest of all the macaws in the same place at the same time. You have to go to Parrot Jungle in Miami, Florida, or Tropical Treasures out in San Diego, California, or you can go to the Devonshire of Mount Lebanon and see these birds right together. This is Hans. Hans is the smallest of all the macaws. And we are just so proud and privileged to be able to show you the largest and smallest of all 17 species of macaw. Well, I thank you very much. Becca may be a little... Uh, Ancy here because this is her first time out in public. She has been caged for about 10 to 12 years. And this is a bird you really don't see that much of. There is one of these at the National Aviary in Pittsburgh named Benito. And we knew that bird many years ago. Uh -huh, beautiful colors. But again, I'm just so proud and I wanted to wait until I came here to the Devonshire of Mount Lebanon to be able to introduce for the first time Becca, the highest in the car. Thank you so much. Good girl. Good job, sweetie. All right. And we have some uh, special.